welcome. Bonjour. So I'm at my mother's place at an undisclosed location and it is late Sunday night. So I got my Sunday fun day shirt on and I decided that I wanted to do some art and talk because that's just my mood right now. By the way, my finger has upgraded to a band-aid instead of gauze and medical tape so it's doing well. Don't worry. So in high school I used to do painting classes and I was just okay at it. I'm not really a painter. I've done multiple pieces for my mother because she needed some decoration such as and now I just do it for fun if I really feel like it or if I'm just like in the mood to do something quiet. Right now I wanted to do something cute, something modern, and just have a little chit chat. Do you like my cup? I really love dogs. I guess let's get started shall we? I was looking around for some modern stuff to paint and this is what I came up on. I really enjoyed this background of this geometric gold lines abstract wall art from nordicwallart.com and then I was really enjoying my Picasso stuff so I decided I want to do a little bit more modern style and try this on top of that background. This is the 2020 modern abstract art print women from DH Gate. Nice. So we'll see how this goes. In high school, I was usually doing oil and I don't really want to do oil for this. I think I'm going to do acrylics. Acrylic is a little bit cheaper too and I just have more acrylic paints. And then I have a lot of canvases. I think I'm going to use just a small canvas. I'm not going to use anything big. And then we'll see how that goes for the background first. I got my hair up. I've got this easel here, but this easel is kind of like a cheap one that we got from a closing sale from a store. So let me adjust that really fast. I don't even know if this is right. Okay. And then I got my acrylics. What is this called? This variety pack from Michaels for a very cheap price. And this canvas was on a sale from a bundle. I think it's like a 10 by 12, I would say. I'm not sure. And I'm just gonna work from here and see how it goes. I don't want to waste materials, so I'm not going to use any brushes. I'm not gonna use any palettes to put the colors on. And I'm just going to use this, which is, it was the canvas package. I'm gonna use that as my material and see how it goes. It looks like the darker colors and the lighter colors are layered and blended together. So let's start with the lighter colors. It looks like there's yellow and green and some white. Of course, there's always white in there. I really haven't done this in a long time. Okay, let's start this first. I know this is not the right way to paint, but like, is there really any right way to paint? I don't think so. So while I'm painting, I'm going to talk a little bit just get to know me. I enjoy acrylics because acrylics always dry fast. I've never really had much trouble. In high school, I always painted with oils and I really love oils so much, but I just don't have the time anymore because going to university is just unrealistic for my budget to be buying oil paints all the time. I mean, frankly, I didn't buy these. It's from my mother's wallet, basically. So I'm only using that background as an inspiration. I'm not gonna copy it or else that's like a little bit too art plagiarism for me. How did I get into art? Well, I was just like really artistic as a kid, totally different from my family and my mom encouraged it. And then that's how I got into it. I play instruments, I do languages, and that's just a completely different side of art. But that's what got me started into doing actual painting, physical art. It's just some dark purple and blues. I think my strength in the arts is definitely languages. I speak around five languages and that is definitely my passion. It's definitely more towards that types of art than physical painting art. So the languages that I speak are, my first language was actually Taiwanese and then my second language is English. Taiwanese is not from Thailand, it's from Taiwan. And although that's my first language, it's not my mother tongue. My mother tongue is now English. I'm fluent in Taiwanese. I would say like I'm a native speaker. I learned Mandarin Chinese, which is like the Chinese that everyone knows basically. 
Taiwanese and Mandarin Chinese are both Chinese. But the thing is like they're different dialects. But yeah, my second language would be English. But now that's my mother tongue because I really don't study that much. I study mainly in English. I do study in other languages, but my main is English. And then my third language is Mandarin Chinese. Mandarin Chinese is like standard Chinese and I didn't learn that until later. I was actually traveling over to Asia mostly only speaking Taiwanese and when I came back to the United States I actually went into Chinese school and that's where I learned Mandarin. I was reading like pretty well I would say but then I kind of lost it all and now I read poorly. And then in elementary school I was introduced to Spanish. I really didn't learn anything other than the alphabet, like that. And then I never thought I would learn anything past that. My second year at middle school, I decided to start learning Spanish and start my Spanish career. Throughout high school, I learned Spanish. I had Spanish knowledge under my belt. Oh, this is a lot harder than expected. I was definitely ashamed of speaking another language. It was kind of like really easy to be picked on for speaking an Asian language. So in middle school, high school, I definitely lost a lot of my Asian language and I was primarily speaking English. And so that just really like made me not speak any Asian language. But when I decided to go to university, I decided to get a minor in Spanish language and literature. I thought I would just like get it in one year and I'd be done. But thankfully it didn't take me one year. So throughout my university, time freshman sophomore I really pushed myself and I got pushed by professors to learn Spanish and I exceeded my Spanish minor credits by sophomore year and since I was only halfway done through university I decided to continue and I was like why not get a major because I still have several years to go so I decided to stick to Spanish and my freshman year I met a whole bunch of people from Taiwan and that was the first time I've ever met people my age from somewhere having so much fun speaking English and Taiwanese like someone I could finally relate to and that really boosted my confidence. I started only speaking Chinese and during that one year of speaking I just really really improved. When I was 16, 15, 16, I went to study in Taiwan for it's technically two semesters but it was just a summer and I studied Chinese and that was a horrible experience for me. I really hated that place. I just wanted to chill and so that really made me not want to learn in Chinese and it kind of set me back a little bit and that's when I stopped. There was like several years where I didn't speak any Mandarin Chinese whatsoever and I only spoke Taiwanese briefly. And then so after my first year at university, I was fluent again with Mandarin Chinese. I learned all the slang. I also had verbal practice. I listened to a lot of music. I learned how to play Mahjong and then it's just the cultural aspect of it made me beef up my language aspect. Then my sophomore year, I started meeting more international students at my university and I met some French people. And since my family is coming from France, I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I just like talked to them. My name is French. And so they started speaking to me and I was like, I barely know any French. I know just very basic French and that's about it. So after that year, I enrolled myself into French. Then that's when I started beefing up my French. Now I am maybe at a B1 intermediate low B2 level of French. I can write essay papers, read. I haven't done much this past summer and living with Enos is definitely helping. I'm exposed to it little by little. Soon enough, I'm sure everything will be back to like my B2 level. My Spanish is I think B2 C1 level. Last year I studied abroad in Spain and that was amazing. I was going around speaking only Spanish. My host family spoke no English whatsoever. I think I finished with my background actually. I think I'm going to add the woman's face now. And I think I need a paintbrush for that. So hold on a second. I really want to do the profile view, but I think I'm going to do the body one. I think that fits more into this. 
Yeah, that's my language right now. Kind of five. I would say I don't really count my French as a full language because I don't consider myself fluent enough to have it become a whole language. I think it's more of an understanding and like a B1 level is not good enough for me to say I speak the language. I have to be at least a B2. But so right now I'm learning German. I'm at an A2 level and I'm learning that through Duolingo and talking to some previous exchange students. Ooh, sometimes they laugh at me though. It's so hard. I cannot get the freaking dear das dem da, D. I want to say die, but it's D. That's really a struggle for me. So I count that in with my French to equal five languages. But I would say if you want to learn a language, just go for it. Start out on some online language learner sites you can get for free. And then I would just say like using any resource that you can. So. YouTube is a really good one. Watching movies. I definitely believe you should try to learn as many languages as possible to any level. You don't have to be fluent. You just need to make an effort. I think people really appreciate it when you just try. So I hope you're encouraged to do something because it's worth it. You get some of that good, good food if you know something 100% food motivated. Yeah!